Today I'll end up doing a few playoff races with the playoff paint schemes that I have, and you'll see I have. Oh, I'm just tired of running this Mobile One car, okay? I I like the car, right? But this has made me like a, a whole lot less than I used to. Let me just tell you. Just because I'm used to it. It's like, when, it's like when you hear a song and like you... But like, like it's one of your favorite songs, maybe even your favorite song, and then you listen to it like eight times a day, and by like the fourth day or something, you just never want to hear that song again. It starts go, it starts auto playing. It's in your YouTube recommended. You just press the not interested button at this point, cause like it's just you know you remove it from your mix that YouTube makes, you remove it from your Spotify playlist, cause you've heard it so many times. Also, I can't qualify at road courses, because that's not a thing. Let's see, I see a lot of correct paint schemes here. I'm kind of violating that, though. I'm not in a correct paint scheme. Truex should be driving at least an auto owner's scheme. Let's see, can we find any correct paint schemes down here? Why is BJ McLeod here? Realistic how they have the official there. De Benedetto was uh, close to the front. He had the most damaged car in the race. Well, I could really say that about the Daytona Road Course. He actually had the most damaged car in the race. And he was leading at one point with said most damaged car in the race. I'm going to have to get comfortable, though, because I cannot run a race in this game when I'm just, like, sitting here in agony. Okay, but uh, I, I honestly kind of wish I'd gotten a different pack instead of this because I could have gotten, like, the Unibet and other stuff. I wish I had more than just the 25 bucks to spend because i couldn't get two paint scheme packs for this with 25 bucks all right no i'd have to like because it it's like 28 bucks or 30 bucks yeah 30 like i just need an extra five dollars i could have gotten two paint scheme packs for this <sighs> but whatever i shall suffer in agony I do love the playoff schemes, though. And I love those more than I love some of the regular season schemes. Because I like people to know I'm in the playoffs. And besides, people run, like, stupid paint schemes in the playoffs, don't they? Alright, here we go. Coming to the green flag. Boogity, 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 green flag in the air. At the Indy Road course. Oh, God, this is going to be bad. We're going to check up bad. Yep. Told ya. I'm gonna try not to get a penalty here. Oh yes, Cobbler's running the M&M's mix car. I told you I got that one. Oh god, I I, I kind of like this game. Not gonna lie. And the, there's something with the graphics here. It used to just like, I think it was just because I was doing it in NR 2003, and I used a version from like 2007 or something that really. It didn't suck. It just had no life to it. If you know what I'm saying, it was always dark and cloudy. It was just like well, a regular GP circuit that I don't want to go to. Clear, clear, clear. Uh, but instead, now it's a NASCAR circuit that I don't want to fucking go to. Apparently thinking negative helps me. Let's not say that though, because we're in like the hardest part of the track right now. <clears throat> Excuse me, Blaney, while I pass you. This is the first time I've gotten this far in a road course race. Where I haven't hit anybody. And I can't jinx that, okay? If I if I run into somebody, that's not jinxing it at this point. Because it was me saying that this is the furthest I've gone. If it happens now, it's still going to be the furthest I've gone, if you know what I'm saying. Jesus Christ. Christopher Bell trying to full send. What is he in a... Are you in a tough point situation, Chris? Because I can help you at Daytona. Alright, because I've got like six wins on the season. Six or seven wins. So, uh... Yeah, six. I've got six wins in the season, Chris. I can help you. I can push you at Daytona. It wouldn't be too lethal to my point situation. Because I'm not in a point situation. Maybe the last two races being as bad as they were didn't help me. I think kind of a key to doing good at these kind of tracks, though, is try to not hit anybody. Because I've, re I've just realizing either this is a good track for me... Which I highly doubt, because I hate it in real life. Then again, all the cracks I hate in real life become good for me. Back back after Ryan Newman's situation for a few years, I hated super speedways. Those were like, I was like running in the top 
I was like running in the lead the whole time every single super speedway race. Uh, let's see. The, I, I just know there were a lot. Uh, this track in Heat 5, because I didn't like this in the real life after the real race. Now I don't mind it. I get, it was actually kind of a fun memory to look back on. You know, sit sitting there drinking uh, Kool-Aid with the boys. <laughs> watching, uh, watching a five hour long Indianapolis road course race. Oh crap, let's not get in the grass. Okay, that's fair game, Denny. But I'm gonna get you next time. Oh, I'm gonna be in a... I'm gonna be on the outside. No! The car almost wrecked itself into the inside wall. That would have been the day I quit. Wait, so... Oh, I'm gonna be on the actual outside. Crap. Yeah, Danny. Next time, next time I'm gonna. Next time you're not getting off that easy. Next time I'm wrecking you for the. Why do they hit the brakes so early? I didn't have to hit mine till just then. Oh, Kyle Larson. Why? Why are these all the guys that were up here at the end though? Briscoe, Byron, Denny Hamill is back, back there a little further. We were racing with him. Kyle Larson. I mean, Kevin Harvick obviously wasn't up here. But, whatever. Also, I'm in second right now to my SHR teammate. After I just got absolutely obliterated by a brake check. And I'm being... I, I go extra careful on the brakes. Specifically because cautions don't come out at road courses. Like, I know there's no cautions for single car spins unless it's like a hard hit, okay? But, like, can you at least give me cautions when there's, like, a few cars piled up? Okay, that would be realistic. Because they don't just, like, ignore that kind of stuff. I think I'm actually gonna... Crap. I'm actually gonna let Chase Briscoe win this race. I know that sounds dumb. You know, uh, everything I was complaining about yesterday. I better win a race. Stuff like that. It, it, I've already got six wins, okay? I don't need a seventh until we get to the playoffs, obviously. I'm... My goal is to win nine races like Harvick did in 2020. Yeah, but I got completely screwed by Kyle Larson's brake check, so. If you want anyone to thank for me being second. <laughs> I I can't complain about anything, really, because, yeah, the car barely turns because I s smacked into the wall. And it also barely turns because of Kyle Larson. But, like, I that got me up to second. So I can't really, uh, I can't really say anything negative about any of that. There we go. Down the back straightaway. The long straightaway. Straightaway right out of the corner where everyone seemed to have their biggest problems. People were, like, flying up into the air. People were smashing into tire barriers head on. I had to recruit in some new favorite drivers at the end because all my favorite drivers got wrecked out. My favorite Joey Logano, he got wrecked out. Stenhouse got wrecked out at the end. He wasn't out, but he got wrecked. Spun by Mr. Hammerola. Uh, William Byron. Who, uh, if you knew me in 2019, you'd know I was the biggest fucking William Byron fan ever. God damn it. I better not have a black flag for that. That was me getting back on the track. Okay, they got rid of it. Stop! Truex. Trying to get back up to the front. Because there's no brake markers here. And like I said, uh, I'm just going to give some tips for the developers if they ever watch this. Uh, which will, if they ever do, it'll probably be in like eight years, so it's no use, but... Uh, the brake markers, they're a little bit, uh, a little bit off. Whenever I hit my brakes at the brake markers, it's just, I gotta hit my brakes either a few little, uh, few feet before, or, like, on the, in the middle brake marker, and it's just really inconvenient. That's probably how they are in real life, actually, because 
I know it was like that in the Heat games too. I'm surprised I'm still in the top 10 after that. I completely juked the corner. I went backwards to go get back on the track. And now I'm catching back up to 6th. My favorite personal driver, Joey Logano. Personal favorite. Desecration. Oh, desecration is a thing. Ooh, I'm lucky I didn't get corner cutting. If I were NASCAR Heat 5, I'd be posted for 8 laps. Except you couldn't get posted for any laps. You just had to stop. Okay, let's not wreck. Yeah, uh, I'll take a 7th because I'll be on the inside. Yeah, but I did jinx myself, though, saying that was the furthest I got. And, hey, it's a Hendrick Motorsport. Hendrick Motorsports are 1, 2, 3, 4, except 2, 3, 4, 5. I'm going to just learn to stop talking. But, uh, no, because pitting isn't even a thing in this game, basically. At least if you want to stay on the lead lap. All right. Green flag, back in the air. Final stage. The final seven laps. Which took about three hours in the real race. <laughs> uh, more realistically, it took about an hour, though, to complete the last six or seven laps of this race. One left. Clear, clear, clear. We're like two overtimes in or something. And like, at an oval, especially at like a short track, that's like nothing. You know, if you can go six times into overtime, that'll be the equivalent of a regular three three overtimes. But, uh, mm, let's try to be nice to our teammates. You know what? I should try to push him to the lead. Actually, he did that to Denny Hamlin and spun him out. Now I should really try to push him to the lead. Trying to push him to the lead. No one tries to push at a road course. Unless Chase Briscoe was just a dumbass in August of 2021. I don't think he was just trying to push him. Just trying to push him further out front. It's not Daytona, okay? We There were like two weeks before that. And even Michigan. We're still a week ahead of that. So Briscoe, I think you showed up two weeks early. In, with the wrong sponsor. Okay. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna see what I can do up here though. Before we get too separated. Mm, I was gonna try to push him. Goodbye, teammate. I know Tony's not gonna be happy about that. Oh, geez. Nobody's gonna be happy about that. Once again, no cautions at road courses though, so I don't care. Anything can happen. There's six to go right now. This is around when all, when all hell broke loose. Mm. Yeah, okay, uh, speaking of, I've watched the 2021 Geico 500 over about eight times, all in the last, like, month, also it's about to be seven o'clock, so I don't think I'm getting past the Michigan rates, because you know, eight o'clock, I gotta go upstairs and stuff, uh, yeah. Also, this is this 100% race thing I'm doing every single week. I want to do a 100% race. Because I want to be like a real NASCAR driver. I'm not doing it in this fucking game. I'm doing it in NASCAR Heat 5. But... Alright, the hood is kind of getting on my nerves. I just wish I could just cut that off or have it fly off or something. Because I know the hoods don't just crunch up like that and stay. Uh, I wish they did that thing where they flapped around, honestly, because that looked a lot better than a pile of junk on the front of the car. I'll be honest. I know a lot of people are going to disagree with that, but... But hey, it's, it's your opinion. And all of our opinions are part of the same uh, factor, or factors of the same, whatever. 
basically nobody cares about my opinion nobody cares about your opinion no one cares about anyone's fucking opinion no one cares that in second grade I used to think that opinion was onion. No one cares that Chase Elliott is right in front of me and our rivalry could start back up. Remember our rivalry from the beginning of the season, guys? Yeah, that's the good stuff. That's what I'm talking about. That's what we need to fire up the rivalries again. Because uh, it all started when Chase Elliott... Well, actually, I think it all started when I ran... Yeah, it started when I wrecked Chase Elliott in Atlanta. And then... Uh, it continued... When Chase wrecked me out of the wrecked me out of the lead at Richmond, and I went laps down, and then uh, I wrecked Chase Elliott at I think Martinsville, and we kept getting going back and forth at Martinsville. Also, I hated how if I did that in NASCAR Heat Five, it would give me a cutting corners penalty. You can't give me a penalty before I cut the damn corner. <laughs> But they gave it to me early, and I wasn't going to cut the corner, by the way. I was going off track because I don't know how to drive. Technically, though, when it comes to this track, in this series, nobody knows how to drive. Especially in this game, nobody knows how to fucking drive. Okay, let's just not overthrow the corners again. I want to stay ahead of Kyle Larson. Because I can do the Daniel Hemrick in the playoffs and just, like, stay in second the whole time and just... Yeah, I can do the Daniel Hamrick and just, like, finish second every race and then win the championship. Uh, which is kind of a cheap shot way of winning it. Uh, I can't really predict how the playoffs are going to go this season, though. Because I remember last season, I, mean, I, have, I haven't been in career mode to actually... I haven't, like, had enough time to actually experience the, pl the playoffs. Because uh, I won twenty a record-breaking 22 races last year. And we all know why, because I literally made a... A video exposing myself where I just sat in front of, front of traffic until they all got disqualified and then I ran the race and most likely I won most of the time I won now the first four or five races I actually ran uh, considerately as in I just accepted the last place no Kyle Larson I want to be in second god damn it I'm wrecking him into turn number one I honestly just want a late season rivalry, okay? Cause I'm like I'm like NASCAR in real life. Like I'm like the sanctioning body at NASCAR. I just want rivalries. We need sports entertainment. NASCAR needs to stay close to the sports entertainment level, not away from it. Eric, you step. Okay, we're just getting a little ridiculous now. Hmm, that, that kind of stinks that I was, uh, there, and Kyle Larson just... Well, cause... Thanks for the breaks, Tony! God! Also, I didn't realize it till the first time I watched the video, which is yesterday in school, that that fucking Indianapolis... Not Indianapolis... The fucking Circuit of the Americas race I did. It, I didn't realize that the stream broke itself. Like. The stream literally broke itself during that stream. During the race. For like over half the race. Great. I got screwed. That's karma for wrecking my teammate. I just hate how the AIs have such better straightaway speed because like I can't I can, once these guys pass me even if it's just by that much see I can't pass them back mainly because of that stupid corner right there that shouldn't even be there they just added an extra chicane why why can't we just like race at the normal track yeah Tony I'm wrecking I was wrecked both your cars both mine and briscoes. <sighs> this is a boring way to run a race, though. There's still two to go. I I should have just shortened this race. I'll be honest. I should have just shortened this to like a two percent or something, because nobody wants to run twelve laps 
at the Indianapolis road course, okay? That's so dumb. I just, something just hit, it just hit me that later this year I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna force myself to run a 100% Indianapolis road course race in Heat 5. Oh no. Oh, I got, oh, I got, I got, I, I, I feel sick now. Someone help me. It's the last lap. It should have been the last lap 12 laps ago. I should just be in second. But no, I'm third. All because Kyle Larson. All because my car didn't want to turn. Can we not hit the walls, please? God, why do physics have to be a thing? <laughs> oh, boy. Physics do make me kind of pissed sometimes, though. Like when I'm trying to pass somebody and because of the teeny weeny spoiler, I like... Because there's a giant ass spoiler, really, I can't pass them. <laughs> I don't really have a problem with the 550 package, though. 550 package is fun. I like drafting. I'm a Joey Logano type guy. I can relate to Joey Logano. That's why Joey Logano is my favorite driver. And there's also probably other reasons, too. Oh. I, I'm excited for the playoffs. Because I will be able to run a different paint scheme. And I'm pretty sure Kevin Harvick ran the Unibet scheme three races in a row. Because I think he ran it at Michigan. Which stinks because that means I'm going to be running this car for another two races. Which as you... If you couldn't tell already by my little demeanor here. I do not want to do. <laughs> okay the race is over. Not for me. But, you know, for the, for the leaders, Chase Elliott, Kyle Larson. Larson's probably just now crossing the line. Or he already crossed it and he's in turn one. Okay, I'll take a third place though. I will take a secured third. That's, uh, not the best, but, hey, it gets the job done. <laughs> Ugh. I really wish people could get DQ'd in this game so I could hop on the get DQ'd train for Kyle Larson. I finished 30 seconds back. Jeez, and Kyle Larson still finished like 15 seconds better than me. God, I didn't think I was that bad. Uh, alright, that was interesting, but uh... Yeah, that's just, that's just interesting. Okay, I'm still going to be running this mobile one. How am I 7th in the standings now? And I was 6th a minute ago. But, like, how? I, I lost points, and I finished in a good position. I fine, I'm going to go out and... I, I guess i got to go win something then, which stinks, because I don't really want to be forced in that situation.